Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Gold Prospecting at Home. This is the extended version of episode number 15. If you guys want to see the edited, clean, polished version, I'll link it uh, right there and in the description as always for these extended versions. So up to this point in making gold pay dirt videos, I was starting to learn more about panning technique. I got my table, my panning station and everything. I even have... Um, like I'm using jet dry and stuff. I think in this one. I don't know. I didn't watch it yet um, I actually haven't watched this video since 2018 when it was first published, but I do remember That um, at this point I was starting to get uh, the hang of things and as far as gold panning I've made a whole bunch of gold prospecting videos out on the river. So I processed a lot of concentrates so I was getting better at it and uh, for this video though, I do remember um, specifically this pay dirt. It's an eBay seller called SD Redneck and it was Well, I don't want to give too much away, but I am gonna say it's pretty much the worst pay dirt that I have ever done Even up to this point and I'm 138 videos into this uh, series So anyway, we'll get to the video here. I'll be popping in and out for commentary and um, Don't forget to like the video subscribe and let me know if you enjoy these extended version videos in the comments and now uh, let's get to it. Uh, this one here is from eBay seller SD Redneck. And they're out of South Dakota. And I got this stuff here sent to a decoy. So this person didn't know that they were sending it to me if they knew who I was, which I've had issues with in the past. Yep, this is the very first video where I'm doing a pay dirt where I actually used a different person to purchase the pay dirt and then ship it to me. That way the vendor didn't know it was going to me because at this point people started recognizing my videos, especially gold pay dirt vendors. Um, if anybody, um, they were starting to see my videos and they're like, oh, if we see an order from Clash, let's make sure we send them a lot of gold in the bag. And then, you know, from the, I think it was the previous one. No, it was like three or four videos ago, the golden pay dirt when he sent me the big nugget. Um, because he knew who I was and he knew I was gonna make a video. So I, I, I smartened up and uh, started from this point on is when I started using a third party to buy all my gold pay dirt, except in the vendor honesty videos where I do use my own name and I have somebody else buy the same bag and then I compare the two, but let's get back to the video. So this should be an unbiased um, pay dirt. It cost me $14.99, free shipping. And this is what the eBay page looks like here. So I, I did, I bought it on March 10th and today's the 24th of March. So um, it actually came in really quick. It was just a few days. I don't remember exactly how many days, just a few days, but I, this has been sitting over here on the shelf for a while and I'm just now getting around to doing it. Yeah, it says it's from the Black Hills, South Dakota. Um, it's the real deal. You will not be disappointed. It also contains many fossils. So that's, that's a first. I haven't seen fossils in a pay dirt yet. And then it shows a couple pictures here. A Ziploc bag of dirt. So, yeah, cool. Let's bring it over to the pan station and see what it looks like. What is this? Batman. Thank you, Billy. It comes with. Looks like a little piece of ore of some sort. All kinds of shiny in there. That might be fun to crush up and pan down. And so we got that. Put that over here. You guys can still see it. All right, and this is what's in the bag. It is single bagged, but it's like a heavy duty Ziploc bag. Uh, it did not bust. It did not bust, but it looks like it, it could have. It almost busted through, almost. Like, I would suggest maybe double bagging this thing. Um, all right, cool. Let's get it into a pan. Right. 
Let's open her up. And, oh yeah, I could see sticks and branches and lots of dirt and lots of dust. So let's just pour it out and get a first impression of this beautiful dirt. Yeah, lots of dust. I'm going to have to classify this stuff outside, I think. And that's not a bad thing at all. When you see dust like that, it means that it has not been wet down. All right, so what I mean by that is if you see dusty pay dirt, it hasn't been wet down. What I meant to say, or I think I probably should have said, it hasn't been processed, at least not through a sluice box, or it hasn't been panned out yet. Because when material is panned out or sluiced, um, it usually takes all the dust, and which is mud when it's wet, gets rid of all that. And then, um, you know, the reason I say it's not a bad thing is because if you have that dust, it means it hasn't ran through a sluice box, meaning they haven't re tried to recover gold from it. Um, but what I learned since then is that gold pay dirt, pretty much every gold pay dirt product that I've ever seen, is just dirt with gold added to it especially if it says guaranteed gold or a guaranteed minimum amount of gold they at say it's guaranteed a minimum of a half gram of gold well then the pay dirt vendor is going to sprinkle in at least a half gram right a lot of people are confused about gold pay dirt and they're like oh why don't people just process it first and then ship it to you or they 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 think that it was processed I mean, that would take so much time for one. Like, what What do you mean it's been processed? One bag has been ran through a sluice box. They took the gold out and then dry, took the time to take the tailings and dry it out and then package it. I mean, that just doesn't make sense. For me, when I make my gold pay dirt bags, I go down in the river, I move some boulders, I dig. And the only processing it gets is I run it through a classifier. So I'm not shipping any big rocks. And then I'll just take it just as is. I may have to dry it out if it's wet, but then I ship it out and... Okay, enough of a rant, but I hope I got my point across. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Make sure we get everything out of here. <coughs> okay. All right. Hey, I found a brick. No, that's not a brick. That's a pizza. Pe that is a piece of quartz. There's a lot of quartz in here. Lots of huge boulders in here. More quartz. Let's see if we can find a fossil. Don't really know what I'm looking for. Um, well, maybe after we classify it, it'll be a little bit easier to look through. There we go. Looks like a little seashell. See that? I think that's what that is. Cool. All right, let's classify it down. What is that? Whoa. That's a piece of metal, I believe. What the heck? Looks like I'm gonna have to do some research. Too bad it wasn't a gold nugget, huh? I would never expect that, but very cool. Alright, let's let's um let's classify it down for sure this time. Okay, I think we're just gonna hit it with the kitchen strainer. This seems to be a, a good medium between quarter inch and a, a 20 mesh. So we'll just do two classifications here. Uh, yeah, I am anticipating lots of dust. Here we go. Oh, yeah, I missed. I'll try that again.
So here we have, you can see a lot of little sticks, a lot of organic stuff. If I blow on it, a lot of it goes away. There's even some sticks in the big one, so yeah. Okay. I guess we could take a closer look at this now. Let's bring it back over to the pan and station there. Actually, I think while I'm here, I'm gonna grab the magnetic stuff while I can. Quite a bit of it too, wow. check the big stuff yeah there's a couple South Dakota I'm actually going to South Dakota next week Yeah, there's no specific amount of guaranteed gold or anything in here. It just says you're guaranteed to get some gold. But that's about all I know about this company. Why did I do that? I don't know why I did that. I have no idea. All right, here's all our magnetic stuff here. Interesting. It's all real dirty. I'm still going to pan it out. What is that? A piece of metal? There's a magnetic piece of metal in there. That might be platinum or something. So just to clarify, platinum in its purest form is not magnetic. However, natural platinum, if it's mixed with magnetic materials such as iron, um, then it could be magnetic. So I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm sure that I didn't know what I was talking about back then. So um, yeah, let's get back to the video. Wow, we can test it. Looks like a little nugget too. That's really cool. Okay. Back to the Panda Station. The first thing I actually want to do is, this is the magnetic stuff, I want to get this wet, pan it down in the sink, just to take a look at some of this interesting little stuff and pick out the little that little nugget and stuff. So let's do that first. This is the plus kitchen strainer size stuff. And there's all kinds of stuff in here. Like a lot of this pyrite and stuff, that looks really cool. It's definitely shiny. That's pyrite for sure. Little pieces of quartz. Big pieces of quartz. I don't know what that is. Oh wow, yeah, I do see fossils. Check it out, I was right. Right here. I'm gonna hold it in my hand. Look at that. I don't know if it's a fossil. Whoa. But it's definitely a little snail shell. See that? 
There's a couple of them in here. I see another snail shell right there, right there. I haven't seen any gold yet, though. I still got to wash it off. I kind of want to pick through here. I want to pick through this a little bit longer. What is that? That's a piece of metal as well, I think. That's really weird. There. No, that's pyrite. Now, you could sit through this stuff and just look through it all day. There's a piece of pyrite with some quartz. It's just really interesting stuff. Look at that little fossil shell. I don't know if it's a fossil or I don't think it's a fossil. It's just a shell. Lots of those. A lot of organic stuff. Uh, I think we're going to get a better look at it once we start panning it. So, all right, first up we have the magnetic stuff. As you can see, it's covered in dirt, dust, whatever. Yeah. Super muddy. Let's clean it off. Everything else in here is trash. It's all magnetic stuff. However, these two things here are interesting. Let me get a better shot. All right, this piece here, I'm gonna call it the magnetic nugget. We're gonna definitely test that. And that that's just a little rock. I don't know why I grabbed that. Yeah, right here, this was in the magnetic stuff. Little magnetic nugget. Uh, stay tuned till the end to see what that is. Uh, let's get on to the plus and minus kitchen strainer stuff. All right, this is all the big stuff. There's a giant metallic nugget that I'm just going to pick out and put on the side. But let's pen the rest of it down. If I see anything interesting like that, I'll pick it out. There goes all the sticks and branches. This is the this is the big stuff. I'm just getting down to the bottom. I picked out a bunch of little pieces here. We'll look at a little bit closer at, towards the end of the video. I'm just getting down to the very end of it. Lots of pyrite. Um, there's something coming through. It almost looks like a bead of mercury. I think it's that it's that metal nugget that we were looking at earlier. Not sure what that is yet. And there's a bunch of pyrite in there, as you can see. that is hmm I don't see any gold yet I 
wasn't expecting to find any gold in the big part, but that's pretty interesting. Whatever this is. We noticed it earlier. It's metal. It's very light. I don't know. We'll test it. And just a bunch of pyrite here. Take these couple pieces of pyrite. I've been picking out the pyrite as I find it, setting it over there, but yeah, the rest of it's trash. All right, let's get on to the minus kitchen strainer. These are the tailings from the big stuff there. I'm just gonna put it with the rest of my tailings. At the end of the year, I go through this and I double check everything for gold. Alright, we're back at Krusty Rusty here. A little bit of jet dry to keep the small flower gold from floating away. And here it is. I can already tell you this is going to look like chocolate milk. Here we go. Washing mud. I hear something rattling around in there. Don't know if it's nuggets. It shouldn't be. I thought I had classified all that out. I guess a couple stragglers got through. Yeah, I got a couple stragglers. That's not gold. Uh, I'm gonna get some fresh water and then we'll uh, we'll finish this off. Beautiful. <laughs> right down the drain. I want to hear what my uh, garbage disposal sounds like. You ready? Here we go. Ooh, crunchy. Oh yeah, hope my landlord doesn't see this. Yeah, um, I don't know if that's in the original original version or not. Um, I think I cut that out of there. But yeah, I used to live in apartments and yeah, I didn't care. I, would, I wouldn't do that at my own house, obviously. But, um, you know, in an apartment building where you're paying, you know, over $1,000 a month um, for a one bedroom. And this was 2018, so that was actually pretty expensive. Um, I was happy to pour all kinds of things down the sink. All right, two or three drops of jet dry. And we're off to the races. Here we go. Now, I did not see any gold yet. This is where we're going to see it. Oh, a couple big rocks in here. Clean those off and get them out of there. I don't know how they got through. I think they bounced out of the kitchen strainer. A couple of them. See any gold yet? Lots of pyrite.
Hmm. Well. <laughs> wow, no gold? Are you kidding me? Not a crumb of gold. That's pyrite. That's pyrite. Man, no gold. Seriously? Well, I'm glad I could make this video to show people that there's no gold in this stuff. Huh. I have been ripped off. Don't let it happen to you. SD Redneck on eBay. What's up, dude? Where's my money back? Holy. All right, so before we jump to any conclusions, we still have this little nugget here that certainly does not feel like gold. It's very light. It feels like aluminum almost. But we're gonna take a look at that. We're gonna test that. Uh, there was also this piece here, some sort of metallic nugget. It's not heavy enough to be gold or anything, but... And the rest of this stuff, it's just like, there's pyrite, more pyrite, some quartz with some pyrite on it. And a couple little flat pieces, looks like maybe graphite or I don't know what that is, slate, probably, I don't know what that is. Some pyrite. Lots of little pieces of pyrite. That one's actually pretty cool. So we're gonna take a closer look at that. We're gonna test that, these three. I got my test kit over here. So let's set that up and see what it is. All right, so if you guys aren't familiar with the, the gold uh, and silver testing kit, basically I take each sample and I scratch it on the stone. So here's the first one. A nice line of it there. Here's the second one. And this is the small platinum one or whatever it is, the small magnetic one. It's super hard. It might be steel or something. All right. So what we do, first we're going to test them for um, let's just test them for gold. I have gold out here. So this is 10 karat. If, after I drop this on there, if it disappears, if the line disappears, that means it's not gold. So let's take a close look here as I do this. So this one disappeared instantly. These two are getting dark right away see that in the light or not, but they're gone. They're, they're not gold. I knew that. All right, let's test them for silver. Let's see if we got a silver nugget here. Uh, the way that silver shows up, if it turns red, if the line turns red, that means it's silver. just completely disappeared. And our last test, this is platinum. So for platinum, if it disappears, it's not platinum. If it stays, it is platinum. Okay, the first two are disappearing, and the third one is slowly disappearing. It's just bubbling away. Yeah, that's gone. Hopefully you guys can see those test results there. But yeah, we have some mystery metal here. Not sure what it is. This one is magnetic. 
don't think it's a meteorite. But, yeah. It's not gold, silver, or platinum, so I don't know what it is. All right. Okay, so we're not done yet. I kind of forgot about this. But the, th the thank you note and the, the piece of questionable ore. I think we're going to go ahead and crush this up and see if there's anything that comes out of it. There are some flakes in there of... Looks like pyrite, but let's find out. All right, so I don't even remember doing this, um, but I was using a piece, it looks like a piece of quartz there to crush up other rocks, which kind of makes sense because quartz is a, like a seven on the Mohs scale, so it does make sense. But I have since stopped using a different piece of quartz to crush rocks. I now use either a hammer or I have a pneumatic um, jackhammer thing that I like to use as well. But yeah, this is funny. I, I don't even remember doing that. We're getting there. All right, I crushed up a large percentage of that rock a piece of ore whatever it was we got some floaty stuff happening here let's get some jet dry in there hmm. still floats with the jet dry there it goes all right let's pan it down see if there's anything in it Pyrite, dust. All right, we tried. Okay, so I think we've officially been hosed for the first time, like completely zero gold. So um, we even tried um, mining that ore sample there and there was nothing in it except for pyrite. But if anybody knows what these other pieces of uh, these other little nuggets are, I'll give you a decent look at them here. I'll put them under the micro, the USB microscope. Hold on a second. All right, this is uh, one of them. It's very light. It's not gold. It's not silver, not gold, not platinum. Maybe it's copper or something, but I don't know. I have no idea what that is. Yeah. Right there is nugget two. It looks like it's been melted and then dropped into water to give it like a little tail there at the end but it's also very light, feels like aluminum, almost. And that's nugget two, here's nugget three. Right there. That's nugget three. All right, so all three of these, we tested them, and they're nothing of importance. But anyway, um, thank you, Billy, uh, SD Redneck. Actually, I, I did look over the, the eBay page again, and nowhere in it does it say that you're going to get gold. It just says, from the Black Hills, this is the real de deal. You will not be disappointed. Also contains many fossils and free shipping. It doesn't say you're going to get gold. So be careful what you're buying, man. Now, it doesn't say in the description that you're going to get gold. But in the, in the title, it says gold pay dirt. So you would expect to get gold, right? So I just thought I would point that out, which I don't do in this video. Thanks for shutting the light off. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, 14 bucks for pretty much nothing. Uh, well, for me, it was cool because I get to make a video and I get to help everybody and warn them about this guy. If you're looking for gold, do not use SD Redneck. So anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. If it helped you out any, give me a thumbs up. If you like my channel, if you like my content, 
think about subscribing. I have all kind of cool stuff. Uh, I try to, uh, I try to make some cool content. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you're still here, you're one of the 42% that haven't left, so thanks so much. And also, big thanks to all my Patreon supporters and channel members scrolling on this side. And also, if you're really interested in this channel and you liked what you saw, please consider subscribing, liking the video, and check out these other videos linked here. They're also very relevant to what you just watched. And that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching.